Scrabby peeps, Susanna here today for Ellie's Studio, and I am sharing with you a large photo swimming layout created using the new June kit and add-ons. So I have a large photo. Um, so this is 12 by 9, I want to say, 12 by 8. Um, and I have used the digital cut file there on two uh, pieces of last month's Good Times paper stack. So I've joined that and I've used this month's wave digital form to just create a border between the photo and I'm going to call it the footer of this page here. And it's very subtle, um, but I like that transition that it makes from the photo to the border down here. I have an additional photo of my daughter actually swimming, um, and that's going to go directly below her. And I like that line that is created from her in the photo um, down to the photo of her swimming. And so that is what's going to occupy the space on that four by six card of summer highlight there. Now I have the uh, celebrate stamps. I think it's the celebrate stamps, um, and it says summer. And I'm going to use that for the title that says Summer Swim. So I have the really awesome blue acetate letters, um, the Navy Parker acetate letters. And so I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put my title. I have also printed off all of this month's um, print and cut labels. Uh, and I like them with the words on them. So I have uh, the green one that's closest to the transition is the details. And then the one above that that says the story. So they're just, I'm just going to put a smattering, scattering, smattering, scattering of labels down that right hand side there. Um, some of them are going to be the print and cuts. Some of them are going to be these labels here that you see me pulling out. That is from the kit itself. And some of these are going to be from um, to the right, you can see all of those labels there. That is the, um, what is that? That is the June labels. Um, and so there's a whole bunch of phrases on those. No, those are not the June. Those are the summer label stickers, I apologize. Um, so a whole bunch of great summer phrases on there. Um, and I'm just gonna scatter them down the right-hand side of the page. And the reason I like this is because do you see all of those different lines that are behind my daughter so you see all of the pennants those are the turn flags and then you see a false rope start and then i have no idea what that yellow down the back is oh i know what that yellow is that is to keep the kids out of being too close to the edge of the pool down the far end um, so there's all those lines that move across the page and so i like the way that all of the labels down the right hand side kind of mimic those lines and they keep the movement that is there moving down the page. Uh, so I'm going to try and alternate colors as well as the density of the labels. And so by density of the labels, I mean most of them are outlined um, with white in the middle, but some of them are labels with phrases that are colored. Um, and so I'm going to try and alternate them. My original intent had been that I was going to journal down these labels, but I kind of like just the white space that's there, and so I am going to end up leaving that. I am going to pop up some of the labels, uh, again, just for some variety, and it gives you, especially with the movement of the labels, that different depth perception, that depth of the labels there. So the photo is actually printed. Um, I printed it here at home. So it's a matte print and it's on uh, 12 by 12 photo paper. So I could have gone directly down just onto the page or the photo paper, but because I have a um, piece together the paper kind of funny and B I have this card over here on the left hand side I wanted to just have a continuous piece of paper um, and just white cardstock there so that is why that is there so I decided because I have the labels on the right hand side I needed something to ground it to the left hand side of the page which is why I just put this little strip of blue pattern paper again from the good times paper stack over here on the left hand side and then I'm going to nestle, and I have some scraps. I have a whole piece, um, but I use the blue a lot, and so I want to make sure that I preserve as much of the blue paper as I can. So I'm going to just um, piece together these scraps to fill in that little spot right there. And really, it was just a teeny tiny corner that needed filling, but it looked better. It gave you a cleaner look when you cut along the lines there. 
And so now this four by six card, summer highlight, and you can just buy those as separate cards. Uh, there's one that comes in the kit, I believe, um, but I am using mine from a collection that I got. So you can just buy order. Uh, I think you get like six of them in a pack, a six pack of them or a some pack of them. And so I want to also then ground the photo. Not only did I need to ground the left hand side, but I needed to ground the bottom of this layout. And so I'm going to just put this thin strip of green all the way across. So our team colors, in case you can't tell from her suit and her cap, are blue and green. And so that's the color palette that I've gone with. I've put that little bit of turquoise or aqua in there as well, again, just for some variety of color in the uh, layout. So I'm going to put this thin strip all the way across and see how that just ties everything nicely together. So you've got your photo, you've got that transition wave, and then you've got this white spot, which is where the title, the journaling, and an extra photo are going to go. And then you've got this green at the bottom that anchors that, and then the blue so that you're grounded. You don't just kind of float off the page there. So I'm going to trim all of that off, and I still haven't... Put the title on the page um, but I've got a lot of everything else and I know what I want the title to be I just have to figure out where it's going to fit in with the rest of what I want to get on the page so um, this is my first layout that I am sharing with you for the June kit um, so a lot of summer detailed stuff these really cool blue acetate letters that I'm going to use for the title. Um, there's also, you'll see me use the blue um, stickers, the letter stickers. Um, so a lot of, there's kind of a trend each month. Last month we had the yellow acetate stickers along with the yellow uh, label sticker, uh, not label stickers, the yellow, um, what's the word that I want? Uh, <laughs> the yellow letter stickers um, and now I'm going and so this month we have the blue of that which is pretty cool alrighty so in the kit you had dye uh, in the, the I am just I'm a hot mess today I was a hot mess at work I apologize um, so as part of the kit in the die cuts you have those two arrows one is green and one is blue one has a the blue one has a heart on it um, and so the arrow points down and then the red the red the green one has a star which can go either way so you can see I've used them to point up and down through the direction of those labels um, so on that stamp block is uh, summer and I this is a summer swim layout and my intent all along had been for the title to be stamped summer and then the blue acetate swim um, and so that's what I'm trying to fit in there uh, and I'm not sure how I'm going to make that work so I add another label in there which I like because it takes your eye up to those strings um, and it, it provides sort of more of a uni united reason as to why I've put those labels all the way down there. In the meantime while I'm still fussing around and figuring out where Summer Swim is going to fit I, there are some really cool Stars and, Tri Stars and Stripes chipboard stickers this month. Um, so geared towards 4th of July, but I um, am going to use some of those goodies. Um, in fact, I don't do a 4th of July layout at all um, so far, uh, but I have used, and it's actually a funny coincidence that all of the layouts that I've created, I've created four this month with the kit, um, and they're all swimming related. So um, you definitely don't need to have red, white, and blue just for swimming. And the funny thing is, is too, the other funny thing is that our swim team colors, our year-round club team colors are red and blue so I use a lot of red and blue in my swimming scrapbooking as well ha ah, that was a mouthful okay so um, this is where I decide to house my title um, summer swim and that just you've got that green and the blue and the various hues of blue that move your eye all the way down that right hand side of the page there um, she is looking to the right which is why I have decided to orient all those things down there and so that is a nice flow. I'm going to use these stars, these acetate stars um, that they are also new this month um, and I'm going to scatter them throughout the page so that your eye is kind of guided by these stars. 
I am also going to off camera use uh, one of the star dies that we got. I think it was released about a year ago, maybe. Um, and I'm going to use that with the the more bluey, the teal aqua paper from last month. And I'm going to use that on the left hand side where that blue grounding stripe is. Uh, Jane Tal Alphas, that's what I could not remember last time. <laughs> what I was looking for the name of them. They're the Navy Jane Tal Alphas when I was talking about um, the the yellow of last time and now we've got the, the navy ones this time. Back to my star, I'm sorry. So that is going to go on the left hand side of that Summer Highlights Journal card and again it's so that I have these stars moving throughout the page. Um, I don't have a visual triangle but I have this movement of these stars that kind of guide your eye around the page there. So this picture is actually from last year. This was our first swim meet um, and so that was July 8th which I will also put in the date and I will use my um, my date stamps, my LA Studio date stamps to put that in. Uh, but I, so this was COVID style. So normally we hang out on deck. We were not allowed to do that. Um, the timers had to wear masks. And so I put that in that little blank space up above. And you can see how style hangs out over the photo. I thought by putting the star that I could create a united flow from COVID style so it would read summer highlight COVID style star and then the label um, but there's enough of a gap between the star and the label that there's too much space in there and so I wanted I needed it felt like the like style from COVID style was just going to fall off so I found a blue label that's going to go underneath there and there you see it in the close up there and that just makes it look so much better it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off so that is my first layout. Be sure to come back next week. I'm going to share another swimming layout created with the June um, kit. Enjoy the close-ups. If you have any questions about any of the new product, please don't hesitate to ask in the box down below. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Take care.